Prince Harry spends his time poodling on his bike followed a security team in a Range Rover and walks his dog alone on the beach when not in the home office he shares with Meghan Markle or doing his daily meditations, insiders claim today. The Duke of Sussex is rumoured to have made overtures via friends and intermediaries about a return to the royal fold, but only if he receives an apology from his older brother. However, insiders have pushed back on going back to royal duties, and shared details of his enviable and very quiet life in California's Montecito with Meghan and their two children. With just 10 days until he turns 40, the hell-raising days of his youth are firmly behind him, in fact he spends much of his time at his desk with his wife working next to him, plotting together which country they will visit next or on video calls with their team or charities. When away from his computer Harry speaks with staff and walks his garden enjoying the birds sandwiched between taking Archie to and from school. There is a long meditation in his diary each day, and often a workout with a personal trainer. Neighbors and locals in Montecito have spoken to the Daily Telegraph about the couple's life there, and admit they barely see them, especially Harry. One declared, They keep themselves to themselves. I haven't seen Harry around much. Normally when you see him around here, he's walking his Labrador on the beach or on his bicycle followed by his security in a Range Rover. Outside the confines of their mansion, he enjoys a solo bike ride on his own with his bodyguards following behind or alongside in their SUV, part of the biggest security team in the area, one local said. There are mixed reports about his happiness. One ally recently said Harry is doing great, but others claim he has become an angry boy who is more and more isolated in California. But whatever the truth, Meghan appears to be more sociable than her husband, who sticks to a small and loyal group of friends. She is said to have joined a local mahjong group, stops to speak to locals in the street or shops and has bonded with other celeb locals including Ellen DeGeneres, who shares a love of chickens with the former Suits star. The Sussexes do venture out together from time to time. They enjoy date nights together at the local steakhouse named Lucky's or Pop Out for an Italian meal at Tre Loon, where a margarita pizza is $24 and spaghetti and meatballs is $35. There is even an Ellen salad on the menu, believed to be a tribute Megan's friend Ms. DeGeneres. Archie, 5, and Lilibet, 3, can feast on the $15 kids menu of chicken and potatoes, mac and cheese or pasta with tomato sauce. Harry appears to be the least active outside the home, other than leaving for the school run or to exercise, but Megan is a regular at the local market or lunching with friends of staff. Journalist Richard Minards told The Telegraph that he lives a tiara's toss from their mansion, but claims locals are disappointed that they don't go out more. He said, The community is waiting for them, they're gnashing at the bit. The cachet of a duke and duchess. It's a very wealthy community. 
We have a lot of people giving a lot of money to our cultural organizations as well as charities, but we don't see them. We have got a lot of very rich and very famous people here, and none of them have a security retinue like the Sussexes.